Okay, here it is. This is the making of in a different location. Yeah, different set. What can we say? What are, uh, I'm, I'm hanging out. Here we go. Well, well my old, one of my old neighborhoods. I mean, not specifically here, but the general area. See, in New York, we have general areas. You know what I mean? If I say the Lower East Side, that's such a huge area. You know, if I say the Upper Lower East Side, that's a huge area. Right now, I'm in... Let's put it this way. I'm, I'm down Lower East Side. <laughs> but uh, my friend Chris House, you know, he's been here a long time. You could consider him like a squatter. They got a, they, I got to interview him sometime about this whole thing that they did with the, well, with the, you know, they're like a social, they're, they're a bunch of socialists in this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen to the background, man. It's just, just boy, he think he, they, they think they're all at in a bag of chips just because they won a, f a couple of little victories. Hey, but the socialists <laughs> all over the world, they lost, they only had this one little uncle <laughs> low east side. They just don't know it yet. Okay, I'm getting ready, get, 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 getting my ready for my, uh, Ah, Instagram, because this what this you mean, this is the making of behind the scenes of an Instagram. This is a, I'm doing Instagram. There we go. Okay, like that. Oh, but this is a long story. Oh my gosh, man! I just fittingly I had to had a comfort food. So I went and got a falafel from Rainbow Falafel, uh, uh, not not a Mahmoud's falafel where I usually get it because they had the good sauce. But I got a Rainbow Falafel. They 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 packed a the falafel ball, but you know so I think I like the Mahmoud's. I got to do the, I got to do the. The, the what do you call that the, the sauce you know the hot sauce and stuff like that so but anyway uh so i got chris some of that okay look it's a saga i'm a, I'll, I'll i'll let me give you the saga and i just do the short thing on the uh, on the instagram right it really is about uh what did we say it oh man my my visa right now i have a now i have a a, a visa for to enter south africa and enter whatever, back and forth for two years. A two-year visa is a re it's called a relationship visa of relatives. You know, if you're married, blah, 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 okay, whatever you have, like that. And it begins, actually, the visa time begins when I take my trip. So basically when I first use it. So it'll be like this coming January. So, and it doesn't cost anything. So so Jan this January for two years, I can, you know, run back and forth, whatever, no 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 worries, no, no time constraints like that. Then when it gets close, I guess about a year and a half, I just renew it because it doesn't cost anything to renew, you know, other than other than that. But my, what I really want to do is I want to get a permanent residency one, which, oh, that was a whole other thing, man. Let me tell you this. This this is a sad, sad story. When I first came to South Africa, I was doing, uh, I, I was invited. I was doing a workshop, an audio drama. And uh, and uh, so they, they did all the thing, you know, it was like they gave me a three month, yeah, they gave me a three month visa, whatever, it was a work visa, whatever, maybe it was more than that, maybe it was six months, it was, it was a while, while. And so I figured, and I didn't figure anything because I, I was just going to go, I was going to do this workshop and then I was coming back, this is in 2000, 2003, and I was coming back to the States. I mean, I was going to like, hey, I ain't got nothing here, right? But one thing left to another, of course, it was a woman involved, but we won't get into that. So anyway, I ended up that that was in two thousand three. Here we are in, in twenty almost twenty twenty three, and uh, I'm still in South Africa. Well, I'm in South not South Africa right now, but I'm still there. But now I have a thing back and forth. But now I have a thing where I really have to. Uh, that's why I can do a good relationship BFS. It doesn't matter to me because what I what I worked out with my schedule and stuff like that is basically from say July to no, end of November. I uh, I I I hang out. Well, I don't even remember. I'm in South Africa, and all the other time I'm in North America. You know, but I'm various places in North America. So that's how it worked out. But anyway, so the point is, I guess the big point is, where's my where's my thing? Is oh, I gotta get the original thing. Don't y'all go any place. Y'all go to place if you want, but don't because I gotta I gotta bring back the, the goods. I gotta show you because you know y'all don't believe nothing unless you see it with your eyes, with your own <laughs> lying eyes. You know. And I just, just kind of people I know too. So by extension, you know, if you if you're watching me on this thing, that means that yeah, you're the same way as the rest of these people. You got to have the proof in hand. Well, you know, you should, you know. This is a bill for uh, carry. I've been carrying since I've really been traveling since '89. I've been traveling since '89. This is given to me. This is given to me by Sherry Fitzpatrick. And look at this. It's really high quality. Some of the people I know, they they high quality, high quality. That's I've been carrying this around a long time. I got all kinds of things in here, but here's my passport, my latest passport, which is another thing why I was good that I didn't. Uh, all this drama happened because this is a new passport. It's good for ten years. 
But if we start opening the pages, you know, we got the page with the with the thing with the mugshot and stuff like that. Then you got the then you got the page where you got the, the emergency contacts. I got to put my South African. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my Zimbabwe address here now, and then my my legal residence here in the, in, in in the states, right? And then you know, then you have all these uh, important information. Then you got some stamps that I have from other places because this is a new. Fairly new passport, right? And look at look at look at look at here. Look at that. 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 How that's what it is. Ah, oh, that's right. Relatives permit, and it's good. It's a two year thing. So I got a official South African thing. So that's what we're going to talk about on the on the Instagram celebratory and all the rest of that stuff. So let's get this thing ready. Let's get this thing ready to go. See what happens. I don't even know how, don't know how I'm going. I never know how I'm going to introduce these things. I know now. Never know what I'm gonna do. I should, you know, what I should do. I can't do a walking thing. Let me see how much. Yeah, how much did I walk? Because I walked. I actually, uh, Chris's suggestion, you know, because the appointment was at ten thirty supposedly. Was for me. We're down on Fourth Street. For me to, it was enough time that I would walk up to you know Fifty First Street and Third uh, Avenue, which is where the embassy is at. It was a good suggestion, I suppose. Uh, but. Uh, uh, no, no, all my friends they have good suggestions, I suppose. But uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it's all dirty, it's all bunch of Let me turn this thing off, whatever this thing is. Why, why are these people there? Okay. Yeah, okay, now we're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start. Da, 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 da. We're going to start, 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 start. Ha. Ha, he ta, pam. Hey, Instagram. Do I seem exceedingly happy? It's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Oh, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Hare Krishna, you know, and all the rest of them other people that they got, you know, you know, whatever it is like that. Guess what? Get, don't guess. I'm just going to tell you, right? I got it. I know this looks like my passport. It is my passport. But what's in my passport is I got the visa. I got the relationship, the, what's it called, the relative's visa? What's it called? It's called, the yeah, the relative's permit. Got the permit. It's good for two years from the time I activate it, which will be uh, January, right? Uh, and that's all I need because I, I, I'm basically, my schedule now is I'm I'm in South, I'm in, where? I'm in the States from July. I always travel on my birthday, so I travel my birthday. Or July until uh, uh, Thanksgiving, like around about that time, November. And then I'm in South Africa for the rest of for the rest of the year. So this helps me to whatever. Plus I can run back and forth because I really I really want to go back to India. I need to get to India. So anyway, it was a big time drama because this the story of this this permit is something else because I started with a regular thing when, when I was invited to South Africa by uh, um, by Bush Radio because I have an expertise in audio drama and that was that worked well you know. But I didn't know I was going to stay. I didn't know I was going to whatever. And I kept on getting extended with visas, with, you know, travel visas. I kept on getting extension. And finally, I went for, this was like 15 years ago, I went for a permanent residency and had things going right, da 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 And then something happened and, and I, I went to check up on it. So I went to the uh, the, the Home Affairs Office with Cape Town and uh, I'm there. There's this, there's a, a the, the the chief, the big, the big chief of Home Affairs, not the chief of Home Affairs, it's the chief police of Home Affairs. He says, oh, you know, Anthony Stone, he says, come with me. Uh, you know, I don't get upset with me. I, I, I travel, you know. So I saw him sitting there waiting. They said, come to the office here. That's the first time I saw this just like big screen and huge, like a video screen. It's the most hugest video screen I've ever seen. This was like, like I said, about 15 years ago. Let's let's call it 10. No, it was a little bit more than 10 years ago. And so he said, they said, yeah, you're, you're, you're Anthony Stone? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he just reaches down by the and he pulls up my passport. I said, this your passport? I said, yeah. He says, well. And then he tells me a story that they, they had busted on to this lady, the person that had, had given, money, given money to to process, to do the, because that's what you do in Cape Town. You know, that's what you used to do. You, you give people, they process you. You don't have to stand in line. They process you. And, then, you know, they, you get your visa and you, you, you're barely on your way, right? Well, she had defrauded all these people, including me, and taken their passport. And when they busted her, this this lady, this is what the guy told me. When they busted in her, she was calmly sitting on a couch drinking wine. <laughs> oh, South Africa! And she had my passport amongst a, bu a bunch of other people. I just so happened to, for some reason, I just 
came on at the proper time. So he just gave me back my passport. They were supposed to help me continue the process, but they didn't. South Africa, what can I say? So from that moment on, it was a struggle. I kept on going through the process. This, this happened. They changed rules, blah, blah, blah. It was a mess, a total mess. <laughs> and so I've been struggling ever since. I mean, uh, anyway. So anyway, it's done now. Let us let bygones be bygones. So so I'm happy now. I'm a happy puppy. And uh, that. So there you go. So I just want to tell you all this is why I'm happy. And uh, I'll talk to you all another time. I guess I'm going to we'll, we'll do the, the, the Macy's Day Parade, the whatever. We'll talk about that. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll talk about that a little bit and all the rest of the stuff. Okay? All right. So, oh, joy. You know, you know, like we say, you know, thank God, you know, what, uh, uh, uh you know, praise and praise, whatever, praise the Lofi, you know, with all, the whole thing, right? Check you all later. Bye. Okay, so that's done. Now, oh, Chris is, oh, oh, Chris, now here's, don't worry, I'm talking to Chris now. This is behind the scenes. Chris is behind the scenes. You behind the scenes. I, I'm in front of the scene right now. So now, what I have to do, so you should pay attention to this, Chris. So what I do now is I, uh, I, I've I, I, I've done the Instagram, so now I have to process the Instagram. I have to process it right away, else you lose it, right? So I'll put, uh -huh. so I'll put. A, a, usually, see, I refer to myself as the brother when I'm doing when I'm doing these these when I do the Instagram, and I'm yeah. just doing yeah. it for for the uh, what do you call that for the uh, for YouTube. Also, now I'll give you the well. I'll tell you. What. So I says the brother, and uh, the brother has a put joyous news. I'm making it short, you know, and I used to try yeah, to make it short. Yeah. Joy o Y O. How you spell joyous? U U S. I'm asking Chris because he an English teacher. He a big time <laughs> poet. He teaches that at oh, Fordham University, man. He teaches the people that get degrees and they go on to uh, don't, don't get out of here. What, 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 tell us about this book here. Wait a second. What about this book here? This is one of his students. One of my students, yeah. You you do that. You tell you tell him about this book while I while I keep All on right. writing. She was a, a fairly light skinned black woman who was in one of my classes, and she told me at one point I said I said something about she writes well, and she said yeah I'm writing a memoir, and mm. I said what about? And she said well about my life, duh, and. Um, yeah, that's what a memoir is, Mr. English teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, she told me just the bare outlines of her life. Her mother is a dark-skinned Cuban woman. Uh -huh. Her father, a light-skinned, obviously, Hungarian guy. Mm -hmm. and they met at university in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, Florida? No, Russia. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm American. What do I know about <laughs> Russia? He's just boy. I, yeah, yeah. Cuban and Hungarian going to the same university. But you talking to American. When you say things, we, we think all the right. world revolves around North uh, and the, right. the, the wilderness <laughs> of North America. We don't know nothing about no other co continents, countries, and nothing like that. Okay, well, um, so they met in, in the University in St. Petersburg, Russia, and they got married and had three kids, one of whom was Ruby, hmm. this young woman. And so... I spent the next year mentoring her. You know, she'd write a chapter and I would critique it and she would revise it. And then we made it all the way through her stories. Mm. And it's a fascinating story because she grew up in Budapest. Uh, that's Hungary, right? Hungary, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not America. Yeah, but, but that, that, that's because of her father then, right? Budapest. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, and she had the same problems, racial problems, that, you know, mixed race kids in the United States have. Mm. That was fascinating to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they, they were serious problems. They got severe. She, she had eating disorders, uh, and she had, um, she, she did self-harm. Uh, she considered suicide and so forth. And, you know, got false friends. So three of her girlfriends were her friends because they thought it was cool to have a black friend. And then they would, behind her back, do nasty shit. Yeah. And um, so she, she 
work your way through that, uh, all, all those problems. Mm-hmm. Um, and she wrote this book. And it's now she's published it. A book, a whisper, a comment of the damage is set in stone. Dragging through the layers, brown porcelain skin explores the impact of racism on life. Through a sweet slice of, what's this, bo- what's that? Dobo. Do- dobos. That's a, a kind of uh, Hungarian dessert. Ah, sometimes made up for. Uh, growing up biracial in Eastern Europe was no cakewalk. If a person uh, caves on social pressures, how long until they break? When trauma becomes en- engraved in the heart, all that can be done is to put the pain into words. Ruby Vivian Cara is a half Cuban, half Hungarian writer. She, she holds a bachelor's degree of journalism from Fordham University, where you said she met. She speaks five languages. There yeah. you go. And, uh, and that's that's what it's about. There you go. I guess she acknowledges you here. Oh, here, yeah, right there. Acknowledgements right there at the very end of, yeah. end of the book. A colossal thanks to you, Chris Brandt, for believing in this book. Blah, 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 blah. You all share the poems. Good book. Well, she self-published. I don't know where you're going to get it from, but at least you know about it. You know about it. To, to be like one of them DJs looking for looking for rare, rare you, records. You, you know, can get stuff. it on Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Yeah, just by the title, I'm sure. Brown Porcelain Skin. She would have said that. Yeah, oh, well, Bezos is Cuban. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Right. <laughs> she's, got, she's got some connection there. Okay, look, that's it. We, uh, that, that's it. I, I'll check you all later. All right? Okay, bye.